old Nintendo gamer. And son. Hello and welcome to our daily Nintendo News Roundup on February the 26th, 2021. To keep up with all of Nintendo's news, please subscribe and give us a like. Octopath Traveler has sold over 2.5 million units worldwide, both digitally and physically. Gloria Union Twin Fates in Blue Ocean is a tactical RPG coming to Japan on March the 18th. There's no confirmation of an English translation just yet. Beach Buggy Racing 2 Island Adventure is coming to the Switch eShop on March the 17th. The 3DS is officially 10 years old today. It debuted on February 26, 2011 in Japan and a month later in the West. While all units of 3DS and 2DSs were officially discontinued last September, the repair service for the original 3DS and 3DS XL in Japan has now also ended, due to necessary parts becoming difficult to obtain. Dragalia Lost for iOS and Android devices has been updated to version 2.5.0, which brings new features such as equipment sets and team copy. There's also some bug fixes and general improvements to existing features. A Pokemon Presents presentation is airing later today. It'll be about 20 minutes in duration and will start at 7am Pacific Time, 10am Eastern Time, 3pm in the UK, 4pm in Europe, that's 12am in Japan on February the 27th. A Pikachu with the moves of Sing, Encore, Celebrate and Electro Ball is to be distributed for Pokemon Sword and Shield to celebrate the series' 25th anniversary. To claim this, launch Pokemon Sword and Shield, select Mystery Gift on the X menu and select Get a Mystery Gift. Then select Get a Code or Password to connect to the internet and enter the password P25MUS1C. Pokemon 25 Music. Watch as your gift arrives in the game and be sure to save your game. This is live until March 25th, so go get Pikachu. Civilization 6's February update is now live. This includes the new Barbarian clans, the leader selection pool, balance adjustments and player feedback changes. My Nintendo in North America has a reversible poster for Bravely Default 2 up for grabs. It'll set you back 700 platinum points and there's a link in the description below if you want to get your hands on one. The Good Smile Melia Antigua figure, based on her appearance in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, now has a release date of next summer, aiming for a July or August 2022 release. Space Otter Charlie is making his way to the Switch in this puzzle platformer on March 18th. Cyanide and Happiness Freak Apocalypse is an adventure game scheduled for March the 11th. Maiden and Spell is a magical girl battle game, which is coming to the Switch with no release dates just yet. Hot Wheels Unleashed is a new racer based on the Hot Wheels toy brand. It's launching for Switch on September the 30th, and if you pre-order, you'll receive the beefed up pack, which includes the HW Armored Truck and the Baja Bone Shaker. My Nintendo in Europe has a new Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury reward. For 350 platinum points, you can get your hands on the Lenticular Magnet set. There are five magnets included, and we have a link in the description below to that order. Subnautica and its sequel, Subnautica Below Zero, have launch dates on the Switch eShop of May the 14th. They'll be sold separately on the eShop, but now just announced, the two will be physically bundled together. For Close, launching this summer on Nintendo Switch, was only to be an eShop digital title, while well, now a physical version of the narrative-driven action-adventure game is on its way. Boomerang X is a new first-person arena shooter coming to the Switch this spring. Mundawn for the Switch was supposed to be releasing on March the 16th. It's been held back now until April. This is to make it the best possible game that it can be. Moving out to DLC entitled Movers in Paradise, containing 14 new levels set in a tropical paradise, 10 more arcade levels, new gameplay mechanics and 4 new characters to choose from, has been released today. It's on the eShop right now. Neurodeck, a dark fantasy deck builder, is arriving on Switch on March the 18th. The Caligula Effect 2 was released in Japan last week. NIS America has announced that it's picked up the game for localization and we'll see the game in the West this fall. There'll be Japanese voiceovers with English text. 
At the NAS America store, there's a link in the description below, there's also a limited edition, which will include the game, a hardcover art book, a two disc soundtrack, a digital download of that soundtrack with three bonus limited edition exclusive tracks, a Tatefushi Academy school bag, a Tatefushi Academy student ID, and a collector's box. Samurai Warriors 5, announced in the last Nintendo Direct, now has a confirmed release date on Switch of June the 24th in Japan and July the 27th in North America and Europe. Kazi and the Wild Masks has seen a delay to its physical version. The Switch eShop digital version will still release on March the 26th, however the physical version has now been pushed back to May the 25th. Tormented Souls has now been confirmed to get a physical release, with an exclusive Sun and Moon collectible coin as a bonus. This will be launching for Switch later in 2021. And lastly today, Knockout City, the team-based multiplayer game, is to hold a cross-platform beta between April the 2nd and April the 4th. You'll need to fill in the registration form at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.